Thank you. Although politics is no specialty of mine, I do think it's almost impossible to make hard and fast judgments about politicians and how they'll turn out. You just never know. Today's heroic candidate frequently turns out to be tomorrow's grafting office holder. And yesterday's has been, sometimes winds up being the country's greatest statesman. Notwithstanding all this, one can't help but feel strongly about the way some politicians behave. Maybe it has something to do with the awesome responsibility of managing so many other people's affairs. Years ago, sophisticated political scientists used to talk about keeping the balance of power. Well, we've come to a point where that so-called balance of power is now referred to as the balance of terror which is about the same thing as saying that there's no balance of anything at all. After this word, I'd like to tell you what I think power really means and where it's best applied. One reason I think why politicians get themselves and others into so much trouble is that they misunderstand power. Where power can do the most good is when it's exercised over oneself. I'd like to illustrate what I mean with a little story about a woman I met a while back at the Pittsburgh airport. Well, this lady was hardly the most cultured or genteel woman I'd ever met. In fact, her breath reeked of several cocktails too many. Well, she told me she'd been trying to drown her troubles in alcohol. Then she said, and these are her very words, wouldn't it take a lot of guts to knock myself off? Look, I said, Stop trying to be so gosh darn sophisticated and all fired smart. Settle down for a moment. Get simple. Relax. Take your troubles, the whole pack of them, as you did when you were a little girl, and just pretend you're giving them to your father or mother to solve. She looked at me a little strangely, but she was listening all right. With that kind of simplicity, I said, the simplicity of a child, you will find a power to control your troubles, your weaknesses, and, most important, yourself. Just the other day, I heard from that woman, and she told me that it had worked. I tried, she said, to become like the little child you said to be, and the power came to me. Just remember this. Simplicity has nothing in common with stupidity. The greatest scholars have all been simple men. In fact, their talent lies in seeing simple, workable formulas in what other people can only see as huge, unmanageable, complicated situations.